right so having ended all these transactions like this the next step is to balance off your accounts now when you are balancing off we look we compare the two sides to see which side is greater if you see here the greater side is the credit side with 16,000 there is nothing on this side so we put the bigger total of both sides we also put here so our totals are the end they are in line please uh, <laughs> these totals should always be in line guys like that they should not be a total one above another or something like that they should always be in line like that then from there what's next now so these are totals but there's still nothing here so to, to make the two sides equal now we insert the balancing figure and in this case it's a whole 16,000 and it's happening on 30 then we describe this as balance carried down right we when we put the totals we don't write that these are totals we don't under details we don't write totals no you just put the totals and underline them here the same way I have done but don't forget that after you have um, done this the next step is to bring down your balance so this is July now because we are moving to the next month July 1 what are we doing we are bringing down the balance balance brought down how much is the balance brought down there right the balance brought down is 16,000 it's the same value as the balance CD right so this is the figure that then comes there as you can see it's that's the figure that goes there can you see that all right let me remove my arrows now we do the same for the sec second account right for the second account we compare these two sides if you add these two figures versus these three figures you can see that this is the bigger side the debit side is bigger with 16300 so we insert 16300 both sides but when you see here this is not getting to 16300 which means we need a figure to make these two sides equal and that figure is 7900 and how do we describe this we said it is called a balance carried down and this happens at 30 so once we have inserted your balance um, there the next step is to bring it down here so we do the same like we have done earlier on so this is July 1 how much are we bringing down P stroke D and this is how much seven nine zero zero so your account has been balanced by bringing down the balance if you don't bring down this balance the examiner will not mark this one it will only mark this they brought down one right so if you go to the motor vehicle account here you can see that only figures on the debit side there are no figures on the credit so the bigger total is this side right of how much 11 500 11 500 so how much do we need for the two sides to be equal 
we need 11 500 and this is on date right we need 11 500 and we describe this as balance what b stroke yeah sorry c stroke d which we will then bring down as usual we are going to take it from wherever it is to this point can you see that i hope you are following and this is done on july 1 balance p stroke d Right, how much is our balance? PD eleven five zero zero like that. Good. Um. Right. I think the process is just the same. You continue and continue like this. But I think up to now you've seen what is supposed to be done. It's an easy process. It's a step by step process. Go back to these processes that I've given you, the steps, then it can help you to enter this. I hope this demonstration helped.